Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we're continuing on with our VGC Series 8 content and today playing a little bit of a team that took a lot of inspiration from a match they had in my Players' Cup 4 qualifiers over the weekend. Now, I played a Whimsicott with Switcheroo. Switcheroo the ring target onto my Landorus and Reggie Alecki knocked it out. And I was like, oh my God, the the my, like the big brain players are there. And I was just like left applause in it really. So I was like, I would like to feature something like this on the channel. So I've put this team together today. Incineroar, as we've seen from the usage stats through the, uh, obviously the, the Players' Cup qualifier was combined with the Japanese, uh, the Japan national championship qualifier as well. So there was a lot of teams in there, but one of the Pokemon that took uh, a lot of use through that tournament was uh, Weakness Policy and Cineral. It kind of spiked in usage, so I thought, let's give it a try today. It fits in nicely with the Calyrex as well, Ice Rider Calyrex. So we've got Double Trick Room on the team, and we've got some faster modes as well with the Regieleki, predominantly there, supported by the Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl screen support, as always. Um, but I feel like the team's pretty nice rounded, um, and, and it fits in that little combination that I wanted to kind of feature, which I'm hoping is going to be on the thumbnail for today's video. But... Uh, there will be a uh, poker piece down in the description as there always is and we'll throw up the rental at the end of the episode so i hope you enjoyed today's episode uh, leave your comments down below and um, i look forward to reading through them without further ado friends let's get into our first match of today so first up today we have a team of shadow rally calyrex urshifu whimsicott cinderace tapu lele and glastria so all the big horses here um obviously going to be a bit difficult because the the um Shadow Rider Calyrex makes things a bit difficult for us um, in regards to getting our Trick Room set up, although we do have probably one of the better Trick Room setters in the format. We've got to watch out, though, for something like Whimsicott that can carry Taunt. Um, so if we want to go down a Trick Room route, we're probably better off going like Porygon 2 Incineroar. Um, and then from there, we're kind of all right. We've got to watch out for the Glastria, though, of course, because the Glastria can um, cause us all sorts of problems in this match. Um, screen support could be nice as well, especially from Grimmsnarl can help us with the, the Urshifu. Um, doesn't have fake out support, so not as useful in the, in the sense that we can't intimidate things like um, Cinderace, which was which would be very useful. Um, I think we'll go Incineroar P2. Um, I'm kind of tempted just to go Calyrex and uh, Tapu Fini, honestly, because uh, the Tapu Fini, obviously, going to be nice to kind of come in and sponge up some hits and things like that, like it normally does. Uh, got Calm Mind there, change the psychic terrain if we do see it present, so it makes a lot of sense in this first one. We'll get into it, see how we get on here today. Looking forward to it. I'm hoping we can face some land races though today because we've got to get that ring target trick and Reggie Alecki taking down some land races. So, obviously, it's a bit of a roulette when you, you're on the ladder, so you can't always guarantee what you're going to come up against. Anyway, we've got Urshifu and Whimsicott, so they're, they're, they're kind of like the big the big kahunas against um, being able to shut down P2. But uh, like I said, we've got a good switch into something like Tapu Fini in the back. We've got to try and force the Urshifu out um, if we can. I mean... What are we better off faking out? I don't really know if I want to fake out, in all honesty. I could max here and go for max flare. Don't know if it's really going to be that useful at this point in time. We could potentially just go for a fake out into Urshifu. It's probably the better bet. The, the, the problem would be, obviously, would be if we saw Wimmy switch out for Lele, the psychic terrain come onto the field. Uh, but to be honest, we're going to overwrite it even if they do switch out because we'll switch out last, you know. So if they get their psychic terrain up here, we'll be able to get our misty terrain up. That's exactly what we're going to see. And that's the beauty of having something like P2, nice slow Pokemon. And remember my opponent trying to catch us out here by uh, obviously us going for the fake out trick room, but uh, don't want to fall. Um, especially in front of something like Wimmy that carries Taunt and then the Urshifu, the we don't know if it's banded yet or not, you know. It can, uh, can all, all go quite wrong quite quickly if we uh, we don't play a little bit cautious anyway. So we do see the Lele come in. We've got three of the four Pokemon of my opponent's team. We know it's going to be the Calyrex as the last one. So our big mission here is going to be trying to set up our Trick Room if we can. So I think what we'll do is switch into P2. I don't see the Urshifu sticking around. I'm going to go for a, um, 
a Moonblast into the Urshifu because if it does stay in and it does go for the close combat, at least we're going to get a return for a hit. I can imagine maybe something like um, the Whims of Cod coming in on that slot but my opponent's not on the greatest position with Lele either you know they they're going to want the Psyche to end up so at some point they're going to want to switch out the Lele I don't think in the immediate uh, short term right now I don't think we'll see it switch could be wrong but I think they'll try and get some damage onto the board uh, but yeah Urshifu retreating um, and the Wimmy coming back in but uh, we'll get P2 back onto the field if my opponent does have uh, Taunt, then that's going to be... Obviously, both Pokemon in front of us right now can have Taunt, so we've got to be very wary of that. Attack does rise. And there's just a Moonblast coming in from the, the Lele. Wow. That Specs. That looks like Specs. That is some fat damage. Some fat damage. I think we've pretty much done as much to the P2. <laughs> we'll try the Trick Room. I mean... To work on trick room just yet i mean we, we can try it the fact that mm, no 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 i don't think we do i don't think we do the problem is here uh, uh we could calm mind we could calm mind we could calm mind and just go eerie impulse um calm mind yeah calm mind i don't think we're going to be able to get a trick room up to be honest help in hand Okay, we're going to lose P2 here. But we are going to get a free Combine up, so that's all right. I just don't want to switch in Incineroar onto this Moonblast, especially if it is Specs. Yeah, it makes sense that it is. No way you take down a P2 in two, with two Moonblasts in any sort of normal circumstances. Um, we could get Calyrex onto the field now. Could do. We could get... Uh, and so the thing with bringing in Cineroy now is it kind of means we don't have um, our Intimidate to bring in on Urshifu, but is that really necessary? I think maybe Calyrex is probably better to bring in right now. We could get a Trick Room up. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Try and get a Trick Room up because we need it against my opponent's team, you know? And I don't think you're going to be able to take Calyrex down and warn and hit. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. And even if you do, I mean, it sets our team up pretty nicely, right? For the rest of the game. We'll go for another Calm Mind just to get that special defense boost. Because I think my opponent's going to struggle to hit Tapu Fini. Especially if the Trick Room goes up. Now they've either got Taunt, which they throw out now. Onto Calyrex, so they go help in hand again. But we will soon find out. They may switch here. But I'm feeling already, I feel like Incineroar is probably our best Pokemon to utilize as our max Pokemon. Okay, they're going for another help in hand. I'm going to lock in with that Moonblast again. Where are you going this time? Into Finny. Phineas. Okay, well. Special attack drop, not ideal, but we, we mitigate that. And we do get a Trick Room up for free as well with uh, Glastria. So we're going to be able to get a, a double a double target, pretty much a, a double knockout this next turn, which is pretty amazing. So my opponent's kind of let that go. Um, and the leftovers will come in super, super handy. I think we just Glacial Lance and go for a Moonblast into the Tapu Lele slot because they can't protect there. And the Whimmy's are pretty much a sitting duck. So you either lose both Pokemon or you switch something in, take a lot of damage. And I think, if anything, you switch the Lele out because you want your terrain back for later on in this match, if you've got Calyrex at least. At least that's what I would feel like. Although it kind of hinders the ability of Urshifu to kind of uh, operate now as well. You think if it's got Sucker Punch, especially in a Trick Room environment, you feel like you don't want your Trick Room up. So maybe you just allow it to go down. We are going to see another helping hand. Um, but we are plus one with Finny. Uh, a Glacial Lance is going to chunk. Well, it's going to remove Whimsicott. And it's going to chunk. Hopefully, Lele to the point. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I forget every time how ridiculously strong Calyrex is. It's just nuts, isn't it? The Ice Rider, you know. A Glacial Lance is such a bust move. Feels like the game's kind of locked up now. And this is the whole idea going into this game, you know. With the... Um, with in team preview you can kind of identify that the trick room 
was going to be the better mode. It's just if we were able to get it set up, and we uh, we thankfully have managed to. Now, Urshifu coming in. The Calyrex still going to be a bit of an issue, obviously. Um, depends if it's sashed. I would imagine the Urshifu's the the sashed the sashed one here. What's oh, Glastria? Here we go. There he is. There he is. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, I do think that we still stick with uh, Incineroar here with our uh, weakness policy. Um, you're gonna go. You're gonna go Max Quake, I think. Max Quake. We could just max ourselves, to be honest, and just go. Yeah, it's just if they've got weakness policy, it makes it a little bit more trickier. Now I think we go Max Knuckle and we go Moonblast. Because we should... Yeah, we should take a Max Quake from the opposing Glastria without it, without the, the weakness policy proc'd. So it should allow us to get... Uh, uh, I, I forget about the... Uh, I forget about the Sucker Punch though, that's the problem, isn't it? The problem here is the Sucker Punch from the uh, Urshifu. All that talk about Psychic Terrain, me just thinking, that's all right, Urshifu Sucker Punch isn't even a threat when the Misty Terrain's actually on the field. We may say Protect though here, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, this isn't this isn't ideal. But then they may be scared of a weakness policy themselves, so they may be put off going for it, although they don't really have any other options at this point in time, you know? Uh. But it, yeah, forget that they had one Pokemon left. There's a Steel Spike. Oh, it's into Finny. Oh, we don't take it. We don't take it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, we don't take that. Um, well, this just gets a little bit more tricky for us, for sure. We are plus one. The problem is if we activate a weakness policy now... Here's my, uh, yeah. Nowhere near enough. And we're going to take a Wicked Blow for our troubles, I think. And take a fat. Oh, Surgeon Strike. I should always check the Urshifu. Come on. Really. Now it's just nowhere near as much of a threat. Because, like, you just don't care about Surgeon Strike as much as you do the, uh, the Wicked Blow. Um, and at least there's no weakness policy on that. A pause in horse so that's that's good so it's still it's still within our grasps a grasp intimidate coming in very useful not so much for the urshifu but it might be worth doubling up into that the the urshifu this turn um only just plus two there plus one defense hmm Should we go? Hmm. I feel like they're just going to protect the Urshifu this turn, though. That's the thing. Because we could just go for another Max Knuckle. Yeah, I think we go Max Knuckle Protect here. Because I think they protect Urshifu, and I think they attack into, into Incineroar. And then if they do this, they activate our weakness policy. If they go Max Quick into us. Oh, they're just Steel Spiking again. But into Incineroar this time. Okay. Well. The fence boosts are definitely helping. Um, oh, this is the problem with protecting in front of a, an Urshifu. Thinking that it was going to protect itself, but it hasn't protected. And now we're in trouble. Now we are in trouble. We are in. We are actually in trouble. Because now they're going to be able to knock out the Incineroar. Um... Thankfully, they go after Calyrex again, though. So that's that's quite useful. Um, now we need to deal with the, the we need to deal with the Urshifu this next turn because it's just not protecting, and it'll be the turn that it protects this turn. I, I I swear. How many turns of Trick Room we've got left? One turn. So yeah, this is the turn we need to get rid of this this thing. Um, we'll go Max Quick just to get that neutral damage. I don't know if Max Knuckle is going to be enough, and we'll just go. Mm, gonna hit it harder really you've got to hope max quick is gonna be enough anyway really plus three 
you would think it should be. And I don't see the opposing Glastria taking us down. A minus one. Oh, they're, they're neutral, aren't they? So they're not. There's a max knuckle. Okay. Hopefully we take this. Yeah, like a champ. Okay. So they're plus one now. But I mean, with the trick room ending, as long as you get rid of the Urshifu here, it's it's game. It's game over. I kind of dragged this out probably a little bit more than what I needed it needed to. But um, oh, I don't know. If, uh, I don't know. Because Larry, it's going to be enough. I really don't. I really don't know if it's going to be enough to take out. We are pretty offensive, but. <sighs> squeaking it, squeaking it. There we go. Okay, it should be gone. That's fine. Um, would have been a different story, I think, if it was uh, the other variation of Urshifu. But we're fine now. Just a close combat flare blitz. Flare blitz will be enough. Well, will it though? Because of the plus plus two defense that they've got under their belt, I think it'll be. I think we'll be all right. I think we can just click in flare blitz in that, and it should lock it up. So a decent enough win for us, and uh, a good one for us to start off with today. We didn't get to see the ring target, Regilecki, but we got some more games left, so we'll jump in right now to our next game of the episode. Okay, so next up today, we have a Dusclops, a Raquinid, a Scavalier, Grimmsnarl, Zygarde, and Comfy. So, full-on Trick Room team here for my opponent, uh, with the Dusclops being the main Trick Room set there, as well as the Comfy as well. Uh, we can actually make use of Regilecki here against the Zygarde, 100%, if we can get the ring target going on it, you know. Um... So we could lead that just to be uh, have a little bit of fun in this one. I think we need Calyrex uh, because it's going to be very, very good in this match in general. And probably Incineroar as well for the Intimidate support. Yeah, okay. Let's lock in with these four. Screen support going to be super useful. Um, and then we can see how we get on in this first one. It's a nice team, though. You don't really tend to see, like, a Raquinid play too much or a Scavalier. Um, but interesting Pokemon, uh, for sure. Okay, so... Grimmsnarl, Dusclops. Let's just Volt Switch out. Volt Switch. Predominantly going to be uh, physical attackers. So, I mean, we could Volt Switch and... The problem is going for Volt Switch and a Spirit Break into Grim Snarl is. Uh, is there any problem? I mean, it does give my opponent the option to kind of bring in a Trick Room Pokemon once they set it up with Dusclops, which is not ideal. But at the same time, they're down one Pokemon, which is always useful. They do get the Reflect up, so there's no way we're taking it down. I don't think a double up here is going to be enough to take it down. Um... It probably is. It probably is. That is just disgusting damage from Regilecki, to be honest. Uh, the life orb there just is just nasty. We'll not bring in Cinnaroo in just yet because I think keeping the Intimidate for a little bit later is probably a bit more useful. Um, depends if we see a Scavalier come in. Spirit Break going to be enough to get the knockout as we probably, yeah, we're going to be able to see. The trick room go up. Obviously, the big thing from us to be a little bit careful of, a bit, a bit cautious of, is Will O Wisp from the opposing Dusclops. But with things like Araquanid, you're probably looking at support lines like um, uh, Rock Rock Tomb is probably going to be the more supportive option for your opponent. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to switch in Incineroar, covers the Will O Wisp anyway from my opponent, and we'll just chuck up a Reflect. I really want to see Zygod. Zygod has to be in the back. It has to be in the back. So once we get rid of the Escavalier, uh, which I'm hoping we can do pretty easily, we're going to be able to see the Zygod. In that end game, we want to preserve Grimstar so we can go ring target, boosh, and, and get rid of it with a, uh, a Max Lightning. So we'll try and not max anything if we can. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be possible. They're going to max Steel Spike here, I would imagine, into the Calyrex. So they'll have that defense boost. Uh, going into this next turn but with a reflect up we should be all right we kind of want to probably protect incineral the next turn because they're going to go for max quake i'd imagine and that give us the opportunity to get uh, our weakness policy procced 
and then we got the the max. Mm, I don't know if we can we can. I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, not max Incineroar. To be honest, I think we have to. Okay, well they're going to Grim Snarl, which is fine. We need to preserve Grim Snarl. Remember this. Remember, remember, Grim Snarl is important to us for the end game against his eye guard, which is 100% there. Nightshade coming out, doubling down into Grim Snarl, which is super fine. Um, okay. Right. What we're going to do is protect Incineroar. <sighs> We're not going to be able to. We're going to have to max Incineroar, I think, here. We have to max it. Like, we just we, we just need to. Max Incineroar. Um, and bring Calyrex onto the field. Yeah, it makes the most sense to do. If we want it, we're just not going to be able to max um, Regilecki, which is very sad. But you can't force these things too much because we'll just end up losing the game. And we kind of want to win the game as well, you know? Um, the best case scenario. Let's see, what are you gonna go for? Let's see the Max Quake, please, come on. Let's go Max Quake, that's what we wanna see. I mean, my opponent's kind of committed to this Cavalier, like like going for the Dynamax with it, you know? So, you would imagine they'll go all in. They'll go ham on this Incineroar right now. At least that's what I would do. Geyser, whoo, <laughs> the Razor Shell coming out, Bosh. Not doing that much damage because of the um, the old uh, Intimidate there, but I mean, it does proc our weakness policy. Be interesting to see if we can get the Escavalier. It is, it is four times weak, right? But the rain is up, which definitely helps. Nightshade coming out into Calyrex. Going to do a nice chunk of damage for sure. Um, but we are going to get the sun up. It kind of forces my opponent to go for the, uh, the geyser the next turn as well means we'll probably be able to pick up the knockout unless they are weakness policy as well i don't know if they will be though they're probably more likely assault vest yeah i think the weakness policy if we ever saw one would be on that araquanid um we'll just is it better to reverse the trick room now i don't know i think we play the trick room out just got glacial lance they may go after calyrex here with a um ooh, ooh, ooh. sneaky sneaky Steel Spike, but the Bibiri Berry and their minus one should make sure that we do survive this and we are probably going to be able to get rid of the Dusclops uh, at the same time, which makes it uh, makes light work. Uh, are we plus two defense? I don't know. The sun's up, though. That's the thing. The sun is up. So the Glacier Lance, wow, it does nothing, nothing to that Dusclops. <laughs> does, like, literally zip. Zip. Man, that is brutal. Okay. Scavalier gonna retreat back to its normal size. We've got one more turn with uh, Incineroar. We need to go max darkness. And I think... Uh, how many turns of Trick Room we got left? Is that one? That is one. That is one. Okay. Why am I clicking these buttons so much? I think... I mean, we'll just go Glacier Lance. I don't think there's much, much else we can we can kind of do. Mega Horn. Mega Horn! Coming out. That's not going to knock us out. It's not the best option. Nightshade well, though. Um, and then a Lecky can come in and just help us out. But we're going to have to maneuver ourselves into a position with um, against the Zygarde. To get... To get... Um, okay, well... That's enough damage, right? That's enough damage. In the trick room. Yeah, dimensions end. So that's good. Aleki can come in. But we need to kind of maneuver ourselves into a position where Grimsnarl can kind of come in for free and get the ring target onto the, uh, the Zygarde. I don't know how we're going to be able to do it without, like, just just choke, ch totally choking and throwing this match. Um, well... Well, well, well. Well, we go for Flare Blitz into Scavalier, and we'll go for a Thunderbolt into Dusclops. I mean, either one, it doesn't really matter which which side you go for, because either combination is going to be enough. You can ally switch all day long. It's not really going to matter, my friend, with your little ally switching shenanigans. Um... And then it's going to be Zygarde. But, like, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? It would be a lot easier if we had Parting Shot. I would say that for sure. 
can't do it. I can't. I don't know if I can even do this without. Like, we've got a sack Incineroar. We could flare blitz into it and hope he uh, a thousand arrows. Oh, it's a Raquinid. Ah, oh, where's the Zygarde? <laughs> Where is the Zygarde? This is not how it's meant to go down. This is not how it is meant to go down, my friend. We were meant to come up against the Zygarde and go for Ring Target. I've been planning this the whole entire match. And you bring a Raquinid in. Mr. Skinny Legs over there, and um, yeah, doesn't work out. Anyway, we probably can't go on too much longer. This episode's just going to be long, 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 long. Tell you what, if you try the team out and you get the combination to work, which I'm sure you will, they lead Landorus, you switch, uh, trick the the, the, uh, the ring target onto it, and then just max and Thunderbolt or max lightning it, and it will drop. It will drop, no doubt about it, and it's so satisfying to do and so satisfying to see. Anyway, we'll jump over now and get you the uh, the rental code for today's team, my friends. Okay, friends, here is the rental for today's team. If you do try it out, as always, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. It is a bit of fun at the end of the day, but it's got some serious elements in there. Obviously, the uh, weakness policy in Cinero, big one there. And uh, I do think it's a really useful Pokemon as well. The Kyrax with the Bibiri Berry uh, gives you a lot of kind of room against those steel types. So a bit threatening, but the big thing from this team, and I'm giving you a challenge today to try this team out and get that trick ring target. Regieleki to knock out some Landorus or Zygods or, or Groudons as well, come to think of it. They can be a nice target for you as well. So, um, yeah, give it a go. If you do, let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear. Have fun with the team. Thanks so much as always for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode and I'll catch you all for another episode very soon here on the channel. So until then, friends, take care and bye-bye.